I can say whatever the fuck I want and you can't do anything about it. I'm gonna have to write that down now. What's wrong, Freak? Can't find your pen? Freak? Well, that's too bad because maybe then you can write yourself a little note saying how much Nally hates your fucking guts. You know what one of the reasons for short term memory loss is? Venereal disease. Maybe your fucking cuntable wife sucked one too many disease cocks and turned you into a fucking retard! Oh, you sad, sad freak. I can say whatever the fuck I want. And you can't do anything about it. Because you won't remember. And we'll still be friends. I'm standing here and thinking this is just stupid. I'm no longer in love with you. Why don't I give you the push? Why don't I tell you to leave? Because it makes me feel cold. Why? Because there is a good part of me which is very fond of you. That wants to work with you. And hold on what is best in you. So the fact is, I find it very hard. I know. I know you love me. God. God knows you say it often enough. I don't say that to be cruel. I just never hear the words without sensing something's being asked of me. The words drain me from your lips. They become some kind of blackmail. They mean I love you and so, and so I'm entitled to being endlessly comforted and supported and cheered. Oh yes, I've been happy to do it. I comforted, I supported. And I cheered. Because I got something back, but it's gone. You both know it. Yet, you want some period in which we both flounder together? Hang on tight while we both get sad? I don't want to be sad. The big joke is no one can remember this, but by temperament. I'm actually an extremely happy girl. I'm strong. You sap my strength because you make me feel guilty. I can never love you as much as you need. Now I see that. I've done a great deal of suffering, but it's over. I'm ready to move on. And I know, girlfriend, I know. He was like totally into me. He was like totally checking me out. He was all like, do you want cream or sugar? I mean, he could have just given me the coffee. But I was like so funny. I was like, okay. I was like, what's the Magic Carpet's favorite sport? And I was like, rugby. And he's just like, you're so funny. Uh, just, um, hold on. I'm going to put you on hold for just a second. Uh, hi, hi. I I'm here to see Mr. Nicholson. Oh, he he a meeting? Come back one thirty. Uh, oh, one one thirty. He come back. Okay. But mm -hmm. I'm sure he said to me. Okay, one thirty. Oh, oh. Well, are, are second so, sure? second phone call ring ring ring. ring. To, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear phone ring. Uh, uh, Mr. Nicholson office. How may I help you? Stop! Everyone, just stop! Just stop talking. Shut your mouth and stop talking. I think we collaboratively decided that we don't know where we are, how we got here, and that we're stuck here. The people who did this to us, they could come back. And who knows? 
He, she, it, them? We could be watching us somewhere, plotting our deaths. They don't even know what they're gonna do to us. But what we do know is that they didn't do it for our benefit. We're stuck here together. We know each other, we trust each other. We know each one of our strengths and weaknesses. What sounds better? Doing them a favor and just doing a battle royale and rip each other to shreds? Or you guys can shut up unless any one of you has anything to contribute that could actually help us out.